Hello class. Today we are going to learn on how to avoid a run on sentence. Well, first of all, what is a run on sentence? A run on sentence has at least two parts in which the two parts have been smooshed together instead of being properly connected. Here we have facts about run on. So, a run-on sentence doesn't have to be a long sentence. For example, here we have a short sentence that states, The sun is high, put on sunblock. As you can see, this is a pretty short sentence. And as I stated before, it does not have to be a long sentence. We have a fun fact in which there can be a 239 word sentence that is not considered a run on sentence. So there are many ways to avoid a, a run on sentence, as you can see, in which there can be a 239 word sentence. We have three ways in which a run on sentence can occur. First, when an independent clause gives an order or directive base on what was said in the prior independent clause. Second, when two independent clauses are connected by a transitional expression, such as, however, moreover, or nevertheless. And lastly, when the second of two independent clauses contains a pronoun that connects it to the first independent clause. So, right here we have an example of a run-on sentence. Santa Clara has such a good English program, and Dr. Medina is the best teacher because he likes to use Twitter and likes to refer to himself in third person. As you can see, this is a run-on sentence. Here is how to correct this sentence. Santa Clara has such a good English program. Dr. Medina is the best teacher because he likes to use Twitter and refers to himself in third person. All in all, here we have a picture of Dr. Medina and his third person man, who seems very happy and is stating that Dr. Medina likes to speak in third person. I hope this helps you guys on how to avoid on writing a run-off sentence. Have a good day, and go Broncos.